Bonjour mes Frenchies! Today, we sit together how to pronounce French words and four mistakes to avoid as English speakers. These are very common mistakes that I hear in my classes with my beginners or sometimes even advanced uh, levels. So we're going to see that together in the video so that you can avoid these mistakes. Let's take a look at that together. My name is Sarah Dessert. I'm a French instructor specialized in teaching French to English speaking adults. And I'm here to show you that it's a piece of cake to learn French with Sarah Dessert. If you're new here, welcome! And don't forget to subscribe if you want to practice more French with me. So the first word we're going to see together is travailler. So this is a very common mistake because the word looks like travel. So um, for most English speakers, they're going to associate this travailler, which is actually to work with to travel. So because the words are so similar when you see them, when you read them, um, that is a very common mistake. But to travel is voyager. Okay, so travailler is to work. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Travailler. Okay, so that is the first mistake to avoid. Second word we're going to see together. Chercher pour. I've heard that so many times in my classes. This is a very natural and common mistake for English speakers because in English you have to look for something, all right? But in French, you're not going to use a preposition after the, the verb, which is chercher, okay? So you're not going to say chercher pour. You are going to say just chercher, that's it. And then you go on with your sentence, okay? So I'm going to say that again, chercher. So the third common mistake for English speakers is architecture, all right? So this word is pretty much exactly the same in English, but the way you're going to pronounce it is very different or kind of different. So in English, you're going to say architecture. All right, you have two different things to remember. The first one is in chi, archi. All right, so you're not going to say qui, you're going to say chi, architecture. Okay. The second one is you're not going to say ter, you're going to say tur, architecture. Okay, and this one is harder because most of the time, it's very natural because of your sound system in English that you want to say ter, architecture. But be careful because this one is tur. So you're not going to use all your mouth to pronounce this. You're just going to use the front of your mouth. Tur, tur, architecture. Archi, no, 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 wait. Architecture. What? Architecture. Whatever. So one more time. Architecture. Good job. <laughs> all right. So the fourth common mistake is all the words ending with sion. T-I-O-N. For example, information, communication, natation. Etc. So this is another common mistake because this, like this kind of words in English, you're going to say like communication, right? Information, etc. etc. So you're going to have a sh sound, but in French, T I O N are going to you're going to say that with sion. So it's not a sh, it's a s. All right, so let me say that again. Information. Communication. 
All right, so I encourage you to say that with me. Information. Communication. All right, so again, it's not about sh, it's about s. All right. Information. Information. Are you uh, speaking French? Information. All right, so let's do a little recap together. The first one, travailler, is not travel, it's to work. Second one, to look for, in French, you're not going to have a preposition after, just chercher. Third one, architecture. All right, so remember two, difference, two differences in this word, architecture. And the last one, all the words with sion, all right? It's not going to be a sh, it's going to be a s. Information. All right, so I encourage you to practice that again. And let me know in the comments if you have any like tricky words like this that you have met in French and that are really hard for you as an English speaker. And maybe I'll do a little video about that to help you. If you enjoyed that video, I encourage you to give me a little thumbs up and you can also check the blog in the description and I'll see you in the next video. A bientôt!